Hey guys, Chris here and welcome back to another LEGO City update. This week we're finally going to start adding some hustle and bustle back into the city whilst I'm still waiting for the other few tables to arrive. But that means that I can start using these, retiling all the pavements, having a look at how to make something look really nice and consistent, as well as adding more minifigures and scenarios back into the city that we've got currently set up. Okay, so I've already started mapping out some of the roads and ideas that I wanted to do for the city. As you've seen, I already have a load of the buildings kind of set up at the moment. I don't think they're gonna stay there, but it's just kind of getting that corner looking right whilst I've got the chance and before I get the other tables to arrive. But that gave me an opportunity to buy a load of tiles for the city that arrived pretty quickly actually, which is pretty nice. And I started to look at different styles of pavement and how to do them. So I've got a base plate right here. And I wanted to just show you kind of what you can do and the things that I thought and which ones you kind of like. So obviously this is gonna be a process for everybody. But, so I know there's lots of things you can do with tiling pavements with the city. I've just kind of come up with four kind of rough ideas of what I wanted right here. But I know you can add a plate layer underneath to give it a double thickness. That's really, really cool. But when you're adding it to a city that's kind of big, it adds a lot of bricks to it. So at the moment, I'm just gonna keep it as one tile thick. And these are just the four ideas that I came up with for doing that so I don't have all the bricks to do all of this for the entire city but I think this is a great time to look at it now and then buy the tiles when I need them so here are the four different designs the one here is actually just having a basically a dark gray line across the edge it makes the pavement look a little bit skinnier and it kind of just adds a little bit more thickness to the road on the side here kind of like that one I think it looks pretty cool then we have this one here, which is the one that I did originally in the city way, way back before I then decided to do this one actually. And I still really, really like this with the gray line going all the way around. It adds a little bit of detail. It makes the pavement look a little bit smaller, but then if you want to add more details onto the pavements, which we'll get to later, then that's a good way to kind of keep that. But also if you want to go past this, it still doesn't look too bad, which I just think is pretty cool. Then here I've seen a lot of people do this where they put a gray line almost in the middle because obviously this is three uh, two by two tiles and they kind of put it there so they create it in the middle. That's quite nice as well but it makes the pavement look a little bit dodgy in my opinion so it's just not something I want to do for my city but I kind of get why it, it does look quite nice and it just adds a little bit more complexity to the pavements as well as it being all plain. And then obviously here we just have the plain ones which is just the two by two tiles going all the way which I actually do quite like this as well because it's just simple and it does have that high contrast from the dark gray road to the light gray on the actual pavement itself. But I think I'm gonna do this one here, which is the one that I've always liked doing. I don't have a lot of these tiles. I did order a bag, but they went through pretty quickly because I had way more of these to these. So I'm gonna tile up the road that I've got at the moment to show that bit and then I'm gonna order a lot more of these, but I'm gonna tile as much as I can of the two by two plates as well. So let's get to doing a time lapse of that really quickly and then I can show you how it looks in the city. Okay, after about half an hour's work, you can see that it is finally starting to shape up. I absolutely love this, I think it looks great. And I think it does kind of just blend in this dark gray to the light gray here. But I did wanna ask you guys a thought which was, should I make these light bluish gray instead of dark bluish gray? Because it is obviously the same color as the road. So that is really, really strange. I don't know why Lego do that. But should I take the time and actually convert these all into light bluish gray so that the pavement looks even bigger? Um, I'm not too sure myself, so you guys let me know, and I might do that if it's something that you guys think it should definitely happen. Because the weirdest one is actually the corner garage, which I'll get to a bit later on in the video when talking about these pavements. But this is how it's gonna look now. Now, the way that I've connected these, just so people who are kind of looking at doing this is, if I show you very down here, you'll see that each one I've connected in the middle with a two by four gray tile. So it doesn't look too obvious, they all just kind of, meld in you can see if you look closely over there there is the other one there and then over by the traffic lights over here you can see one here as well so that's the only thing that's different from all of the actual the fact that it all looks nice and clean and simple now i am going to be untiling this as well to add minifigures on but i just wanted to see how it all looked first nice and clean and just no minifigures anywhere and then i'm going to start adding people into the hustle and bustle of assembly square and then 
here as well with some cars and things to start really shaping it up. Now the only issue with this that I've noticed so far, it's probably going to be a couple, is the traffic lights over here. So if I move the tripod over to here, you will see that I can't actually put the line going to this traffic light because it's in the way. The only way I could do it is potentially having it going all the way there and just missing that corner there. So I might try that and see how it looks, but I haven't got any of the dark gray in that color at the moment to kind of try all that out. You'll notice that I haven't actually done the line on this alley here at the back. I probably will do that, but it was just something that I thought, you know, what, I'm just going to tile it all for now just to give it a look, a clean look for now. And I can always remove this line here. But I was thinking, again, maybe I'll do all dark gray for the main street and then the side streets have is just normal gray. So you guys let me know what you think about that. Because obviously if I'm going to put the burgers down here that I was on about before, then it's going to be very tight to the edge anyway. So it might not want to have that dark gray line. Obviously I'll remove this base plate and things, but I'm not too sure if I'm going to do that yet anyway. Because I think these might be getting moved at some point anyway. Because I'm still not 100% sure that I want those buildings there, those mini modulars. So now there's no minifigures here. There's obviously one big thing is, is a lot of people say these side pavements look absolutely massive because they're not butted up to assembly square and things. And a lot of people actually remove the actual sit the buildings from the base plates and push them forward onto the pavement to make this pavement smaller. Now, the problem with that is, is that at the moment, I'm not sure where I want to put all of this stuff. So that makes it really, really complicated to then have them all put into the into these actual road plates and then not being able to make them, you know, removable so I can move them around and stuff. So I'm not going to do that. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you some more ideas I've come up with and how to make this look less bare by adding scenarios and setups and things on this, which I think will look really, really cool. And then it'll actually make it look more compact anyway. And I'd like to have this as bigger for minifigures to go on. So let's go back to my desk table and let's have a look at how we can do that. Okay, so I've connected the, I've unconnected the base plate that was actually in front of the assembly square. So I can do it on this one and then show you how it will go into the city afterwards. But this is the kind of thing that I was thinking, obviously, there's quite a lot of space here, which is a bit annoying, like I said, but I do like having the, the big pavements to add more minifigures and stuff. I want to make it more hustle and bustle. Lots and lots of stuff going on with lots of cool little scenarios that are going to be happening. So in order to reduce the pavement size, there's obviously a lot of things you can do. So firstly is this, which is obviously the, uh, the assembly square or any of the modular buildings come with a white lamp. Now these are really, really nice, but they are very close to the actual building itself. So you can make the pavement look bigger by actually extending all the stuff out and the little accessories that come with the sets into the pavement itself. So usually they are like one across. So that can easily just go up there, which just makes it look really, really nice. And just, again, it's already making this look, you know, there's only two places now that a minifigure could go past that, which is quite interesting. And then you kind of just do it maybe a little bit mathematically. So two, four, six, eight, that's half the plate there. So that's kind of what you want to be working on if you want it to look quite even. You don't have to do this. This is probably just my OCD more than anything. But if you want to add more things here, you could potentially move two of them out of the way again and have something like a bench. Now, this is a bench that came in the people pack set for the park. There's one that I did use for the park, but obviously the park's kind of not being used at the moment. So I thought, I really like this. I'm going to see how it looks. And if I do like this in the blue colors, you guys let me know. These might become the park benches that are all around my city you know, where people need to sit for waiting for a bus or something like that. So I thought I'll put that there. Now, obviously, to put that in, we'll add some minifigures on that in a second. But again, this is already looking way nicer than it was before. And actually, it looks like that park bench may need to go on more plates. That may be something I want to do, actually. So let me go and get some. Okay, so as I just saw, I thought this kind of needed to go on some more plates. So I'm going to put two of these ones on there and see if that'll connect it on. There we go. So it's not kind of sinking into the actual pavement. It's one thing you have to notice with a lot of these. This one's actually on its own two by two tile. So that makes it very easy. I just pull this off of the assembly square. So that can just go there and it just look very clean and neat into the pavement. Okay, so then next we could add a little bit more. And again, assembly square comes with this post box. I'm not quite sure where this matches into the actual set. So I will do it for now and then we'll see what it looks like afterwards but I think it was over here somewhere. So I'll add this one in here. This one may need to have more of a square one because it will rotate round. But for now, I think that looks quite nice like that. And again, it's just adding a lot more complexity to the pavement already. And this is just going outside one of the modular buildings. So you can easily add a lot more stuff to this. Now, another thing that I thought, there's a couple of things I can do. So I'm gonna remove this and show you some other ideas that I've kind of come up with for the moment. 
And one of them is just to make adding a bit more greenery to the setup. So one way that you can do that is obviously with plants. So these are really simple. They're just literally a modified plate on top of two of those weird bricks. Just put them on like so, like that. And it just creates a four way, which again, two, four, six, eight. So I've done it in the middle for, for now, just for my OCD. And then you can easily add on some little bits and bobs here to make sure this all kind of goes on nicely. So I think I put one stub there and this one over here. There we go, and just kind of create some sort of plant life. You can do whatever you want. These are just random bits of plants that I got to hand just to kind of show you that that's one way you can do it. And again, that just looks really nice. It's a bit different. It's next to the park bench. You might even want to put the park bench more up to this or something. But I think that looks pretty cool like that. Another thing you can do with plants is also adding trees, which I think this is really simply made. It's just out of bricks with a brown bit at the bottom. That, it, that could be anything. It was just to try and imitate soil at the bottom, really. And then I've used a tree, which is a built tree by Lego. This actually came in the town center one again. This is really cool. It has the hooks on it, and it's just really simple. You can easily download this. It's not These aren't complicated pieces to buy. But you could then simply just put this into a little kind of treat holder like this and that can easily go somewhere as well now this is obviously a lot bigger so that's what i was saying if you actually used up the um the city and made the pavement smaller something like this would not fit in at all but you can easily move four of these out of the way keeping it away from the side of the road and plop it into the city like so and that is a really nice tree that you can have on your city then and it just again really is nice you could tile this at the top if you wanted to to give it more of a finished look something like that gives it an even cleaner look that could even be a colored tile if you wanted to add some more vibrancy but i just think that looks really really nice and it just adds a little bit more complexity to your pavements and just adds a little bit more detail and style so that's another thing you can do i'm going to remove this from here for now and then one more idea just to kind of finish up the all the accessories as well that I just kind of come up with on the fly is making a bin. Now these bins are really simple. In fact, this one again came from a different set. And all it is is pretty much it's got a sticker recycling on the top in green. And it's just one of these normal container pieces with a one by two plate connected on to a two by two tile. So I'll show you here how to make it with the gray one. But it's basically a one by two plate like this that goes onto the barrel container here. And then you add the plate on top. And again, simple bins just added to the city just really do add that more realism. They can be put together or one apart. And you can just really simply add them into the city, maybe on the back, like so, with a two tile in the middle, just to give them a little bit of space like that. And as you can see, that really does just add a little bit more complexity to the pavement. So looking at all of this, just all together, if I, I could add the tree back on, I'll just place it over for now. But looking at this, you can see how it's just added a lot more complexity to a pavement that just makes it look a lot more city-esque. You've got a lot more things that you can still add minifigures around this stuff as well and all this detailing, adding them onto park benches, have someone watering the plants, for instance, or looking after the trees. Lots of cool stuff that you can add. And also, you know, there's lots of other things you can add, like a hot dog stand or a hot dog vendor and things. Gives them plenty of room that aren't too next to city buildings, as well as having a lot more engagement and fun with the minifigures. So I'm gonna start putting some of this stuff into the city on that straight that we've got right there, add some more minifigures, and then see how it all looks. Okay, so as you can see, I've now added this bit right here in front of the assembly square and the birch books and it just does add a little bit more really nice scenery to the front of the shot and it just really does add some more detail towards the pavements going that way we have the assembly square lamp here there should probably be another lamp over here i think i've used them somewhere else for now but i have done an order so i might put another lamp over here and maybe move the bins over one but i put two bins here a letterbox that plant pot holder the chair here the bench the assembly square white lamp and then i put a tree over here now i'm not going to put any minifigures over here at the moment because this is the edge of the table there's another table that's going to be coming that will butt up to this but for now i'm leaving it as it is and i want to just concentrate on the little bit of time we have left just to go through and add minifigures to this bit here i thought to start with let's look at the center of assembly square 
And right in this corner here is a nice little seating area. So I thought what better to kind of hide a character that I don't really want on display there, which is one of the characters that actually came in the assembly square set, which is this. I really don't like these faces. I think they look really weird, so I don't like to show them, but I do want to use them because I want to use as much Lego that I have as possible. So I'm going to put her there so that she's not as noticed, but she has an awesome baby minifigure which obviously everyone likes to see the babies. If you'll focus, there we go. So I'm gonna put him in his cot like that and she's just getting her baby ready and they just come out for a little stroll and I thought, why not have a coffee whilst they're out? So I thought that was a great scene there to set up. Now, if you don't know, but over here is Birch Books and the story with Birch Books is that we have this lady here who's getting wooed by a gentleman who wants to buy her flowers and that's kind of the whole scene in Birch Books. So I'm going to put her outside in a bit but seeing as this is a flower shop here I thought what better time to have the guy which is this one who is wooing her to actually buying flowers and walking just out of the shop. He's just gone and got the flowers and he's on his way over to Birch Books to give that lady her flowers. Just thought that looked quite a nice little scene and it adds to the two stories of the two shops that we've got. So obviously this here is a cake shop. So again I thought what better than to have a cake chef just outside waving at people because it's in the morning maybe because people get their morning coffees. Just giving them a nice wave outside just to give a little bit more detail over here. So we obviously have the bench here. So originally on this bench in the park, if you guys watched that before, I had two sports people with a baby. I thought those two sports people could still go here because that would look really nice, but without the baby because we've already got one in the shot over here anyway. So first things first, I thought we'd add this lady here. She's got her morning coffee and her cookie, which she might have got from the cake shop behind her. So I thought that was quite a nice addition. And then I thought we'd have this gentleman here, who is her husband or boyfriend or whatever you want to call it. She, he is there and he's going to be waving at somebody. And he's going to be waving at a cyclist on the road who is his friend that's just gone past because they're obviously very sporty people. So I wanted to add this cyclist here. I thought he was a great one. He's got a nice blue bike, so I wanted to have him going past like that. And it'll be on this side of the road, so if I just zoom out, you can see him right there, waving back at his friend in the street. So there we go. And for this, I thought it was really funny to use one of the bulldogs I got in one of my recent hauls, because I think these guys are absolutely great, uh, one of these white ones, and I got a couple of them, so I wanted to have them dotted around the city. So I wanted him to be running, but... I wanted them to be, because obviously Bulldogs are very, very strong dogs, I wanted them to be this dog walker here, who's like, oh no, it's kind of pulling him along. And I was trying to think of a lead, how I could do a lead, and actually I found this spanner piece, which actually works quite well. So what I was going to do was clip the spanner piece to the back of the dog like that, so it kind of looks like a lead. And the dog is actually pulling him, because I can use the lead like that to kind of show the dog is jumping up, and this guy's getting pulled by the dog. So he's got a really scared face as he's getting dragged around by his dog, which I just thought was absolutely hilarious. So, to add another scene with a dog, I thought over here there was actually, when you did the assembly square, it came with a little chihuahua. So I wanted to use the chihuahua dog and have the chihuahua dog sitting here having a coffee, as it were. So let me put him over there. And then I thought, what better to have than his owner having a coffee with him kind of having a chat so she's come out with a dog and this dog's so well behaved that he gets to sit and have a, a chin chin wag over there so i thought well why does the dog not allowed a coffee or anything so i thought i'd get this lady here a coffee barista lady and she can actually be walking over with a dog bone and a croissant because they've got their coffee but they obviously had to wait to go and get their actual food first so the dog's going to be getting a dog bone and the lady's going to be getting a croissant. So I thought that looked like a pretty hustle and bustle area now. And as you can see with all of this added, with everything going on, you can really see how much it adds to it. And I haven't even added anything in the center here. So that's really easy to add something over here if I wanted to as well. But I'm going to leave it like that for now. One more thing I wanted to do was to have a person posting a letter in the letterbox. So, so if you guys can let me know what you think of this, whether you'd add any more scenes. I know there are a couple of people that recommending scenes and stuff that I'm definitely going to be doing as the city gets bigger but like say these are just little scenes that I kind of thought of for now just in front of the assembly square as the city gets bigger there's going to be lots and lots of minifigures I really want to pack my city with lots of minifigures and lots of fun stuff to do things potentially on the rooftops as well all that kind of stuff so 
One thing before this video ends, I wanted to sh have a go at this corner over here. Now, I guess let's ignore the haunted house for now because I don't think that I'll be staying there at all. But as you can see on the corner, how I've done my tiling is, is that it actually goes up to a nice point here, which obviously leaves this bit here. Now, some people do like nice greenery area here, which I think looks really, really nice. And I do think that would look pretty cool. I might do that on a couple of my other corners. But for this one, I thought, why not use this, which is part of the other part of that tree that I've used over, over on the other side. So this is kind of a tram stop, but I kind of thought, why not take this off of here and make it into this here as like on an angle. So it looked like quite a nice little angled bus stop for the bus. So I thought I'd have a quick go at doing that before the end of the video. I think that looks okay. It does kind of match the road quite a bit, which I think is quite good. So I've done three things here, looking at a bit of the calculations. Two are the two by two with the stud on and then one is just a one stud with a corner piece so that the actual seats can clip on. So, first of all, let's put this on, which kind of looks like that. And then with this, that kind of just rocks on like so. And I think that looks absolutely awesome. So if you take a look at it from this way, you can see that I've started to really create some kind of areas here and it's starting to look really nice going down this road with this bus stop there and I just think that looks really really nice in this corner so I don't know what you guys think of how I've done the corner I think it looks pretty cool but that's me but now I've done that corner as well I feel like this bit is missing something even though I know this is going to be moved so I want to just do a really quick scene here that I had a thought for which is to use the hot dog guy and also the guy with the tree as well up here because I think that little kid is really funny so Okay, so going into handheld mode, you can see this bus stop here. I'm going to probably put some people here waiting for the bus. And then we've got the hot dog vendor here. Now, like I said, I'm going to remove this haunted house from the back, but for now it looks okay. He's just served that guy there, and he's been delivered pizzas too. Then you have the kid up at the top with the lady outside because his plane has been stuck in the tree. Then we've got this lady over here having a coffee with her dog with the waitress serving them food there we go she's got a bone and a croissant then we've got the guy really funnily walking his dog who's <laughs> like basically the dog's walking him so i think it's pretty funny we've got the two people over here on the sidewalk waving because there's the guy that they are waving to we've got the nice pastry chef outside just waving to guy coming out to deliver the flowers that he's got I think it's really, really nice. And then we've got the lady over there with the baby and the guy delivering the letter. So I think overall that's looking like a really hustling and bustling scene. And I just think it's really starting to look really nice now. So I'm pretty happy with that. And I think that'll be it, a wrap up for this week. Okay, that's it for another LEGO City update. I think overall I've really started liking how the pavements are looking now. I really do like that grey line that I've put in. But let me know in the comments down below if you prefer any of the other options that I've done earlier on. And hopefully you guys like the ideas that I've put forward by making the pavements and things look a lot bigger by adding lots of more accessories and features and stuff like that. Because I do really, really like putting lots of minifigures in the city. And if you guys know, I love collecting minifigures. So lots and lots more minifigures are going to be added over the coming months as the city gets bigger and bigger. So I wanted to have more room for them, have them outside because when they're inside the uh, the buildings, they just get lost. So there are going to be minifigures in there, but I want to really concentrate more on the minifigures outside and the hustle and bustle of the city. So I really do hope you guys enjoyed this video. But next week, we're going to start mocking again and I'm going to be doing a review of this set on Tuesday. And then on Friday, hopefully we will have come up with an idea for this set on how to incorporate it into the city. So I wanted to show you guys now, give you an early look. So if you guys have any ideas of what this could be in the city, let me know. Um, I was thinking like an outdoor adventure store or a skater store or something because then it doesn't require too much mocking, but I definitely want to do something with this, which will just add a little bit of uniqueness to the city. But other than that, like I said, let me know in the comments down below if you have any ideas on that. But other than that, I'll we'll catch you in the next one and have an absolute awesome day. If you enjoyed the vid, then if you haven't already, please like and subscribe as it really helps out the channel. And as always, keep bricking it.